Hi guys, so today I'm going to be Zombie Alice in Wonderland. And, you know, I haven't really done zombie makeup before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try out whatever I can and make it look as awesome as possible. And I'll let you know exactly what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, so that I can, you know, help some others out who haven't done this before. So I got a bunch of FX makeup that uh, you can get anywhere, like from the dollar store or whatever. And I have a bunch of different eyeshadows, and uh, I have um, a jumbo eye pencil that's actually white. And I have red lip liner, I have gray eyeliner, I've got some blue uh, eyeshadow. Uh, I'm not sure really what this is supposed to be, but uh, I think this used to be my mom's in the 80s. Um, I've got some blue eyeliner, uh, some really beautiful, I love this color. Um, I forget what it's called there. Oh, mint uh, mascara. And I have blue lipstick and blue lip gloss, as well as this beautiful foundation. Fake blood, of course. And all my tools. I also like using Q-tips and cotton balls as makeup applicators because Especially for stuff like costumes, it does an amazing job. We can't forget the fact that I have this suit. So, I'm actually going to use green makeup, because I don't have liquid latex, to apply this and make it sort of an extra skin. So I definitely recommend adding to a small, like, sort of plate some water and dip a Q-tip in there and while you're putting on the tissue, um, put the water from the Q-tip to stab it onto the tissue as well as the green and it acts as sort of a glue, like a paper mache. Of course now, you just have to let it dry. Now, because I have old ass makeup and stuff like this lipstick that has been around over centuries, I'm gonna use this one. foundation all over and just cover everything up. Now if you're tr having trouble getting that up, now if you're having trouble getting the tissue to stick, always put glue underneath and the glue stick works just fine. Put a bit of red, blue, yellow, 